Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about the MXR Dynacomp. Before we get started, if this is your first time clicking on this channel, uh, if you're new, uh, I just do guitar reviews, guitar music, and uh, just tutorial videos, uh, that sort of thing. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button real quick. Uh, that really helps me out. And let's get into it. What made me get into compression is one day I was sitting there playing a solo, learning a solo, and I was noodling around, and I hit one note, and the note just kind of died, right? It kind of fell off quickly, uh, and I found that it just kept doing that. And so um, in the solos that I was listening to, that wasn't really the case. Uh, and so compression is how I came to learn that you can fix that. So what compression does is it takes the signal that's coming from your guitar, and uh, if the signal volume is low, then it boosts that volume. And if the signal volume is high, then it brings that volume down. So it tries to maintain this even keel volume. So that's mainly what I use it for, is to sort of bring an even keel to the sound and not overly compress the sound, but just enough to where, like I said, it boosts those low volumes and sustains the note just a little longer. Uh, and then the higher volumes brings it down just a little bit. Uh, and so this setting that I have it on right now is about where I use it. It's very, um, very subtle. You still get the sound of the guitar. Uh, as you see, when I start messing with it, you can sort of lose sort of the sound of the guitar and it can kind of become a little bit more uh, MIDI sounding or fake sounding almost, you know. Um, but this is about where I like it. And like I said, it really kind of helps boost the longevity of the note. So if I turn it off and play the note, that's about as long as it lasts. If I turn it on and play the note, makes it just a little bit longer. And you can even hear it um, bring down the volume at the beginning and bring up the volume as it goes on. So, um, let me just play a lick for you. And if I mess with it, so this output is the volume, okay? And it even adds a little bit of distortion. That's probably more because of the interface than the actual pedal itself. So if I look at my interface, I'm peaking right now because of the volume is too high. The input gain is too much. Uh, and so as you adjust this sensitivity, it will make the output even louder. So you need to adjust this one down as you adjust this one up. So if I bring it about here, and you can hear that squash sound, but you can also hear how it's lasting so long. The note is seemingly just going on forever, right? But you can also hear that it has sort of that squash sound. I'm losing a little bit of the actual sound of the guitar at the beginning of the notes. Uh, and so that's why whenever I adjust this, I adjust the sensitivity lower so that uh, it compresses more of the outset of the sound, maybe. Uh, and so let's turn this up even more just to work in some extremes, you know, now. So you can really hear how it squashes the sound, but you can also hear how much of the sound just lasts, right? It's very, very odd, right? So like I said, the way that I like to have it is probably about there and somewhere about there, maybe. I try to keep the same volume before and after. So maybe I'm losing just a tiny bit of volume, so I might turn up the sensitivity or the output, either or. And then when I play a lick. And 
And so you can hear there, the sound is squashed a little bit when it's on. So I would probably adjust this even just a tiny bit lower. And now you can hear I, I'm, I'm bringing more of the guitar sound back at the beginning of the notes. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review of the MXR uh, Dynacomp. It's a very great pedal. I really enjoy it. Uh, I think it has a great sound. It's very subtle. It's easy to work with. Just two knobs. There are others that have four, five, six knobs. Um, this one, uh, maybe you get a little less of what you can adjust and mess with as far as the compression goes but it's enough for me and I got this pedal for probably 25 bucks 50 bucks something like that uh, brand new I think the price maybe has gone up now but uh, it's still a great pedal worth a buy and lots of people are using this pedal it's simple it's great I like it so guys again uh, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel today. If this is your first time here, again, I do all things guitar. Uh, so hit that subscribe button for me, stick around, and uh, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to respond and get back to you. All right, see you guys in the next video.